Well, hey guys and gals, welcome back to another episode here on the Blockhead server. We are at episode 88, and today I'm working on uh, some different things. I don't know what I'm actually going to be doing, but I definitely don't want to uh, trade with villagers anymore, at least for the time being. Um, I wanted to do some building and kind of start constructing some things that some infrastructure also we need to build like the front of the library uh what i'm working on right now is a little pond or i'm not sure if i wanted to make a pond or if this is going to be more of a formal like pool but i wanted to capture this water that's falling naturally from way 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 up there it's actually an aquifer like an underwater cave that that's coming from believe it or not and it's kind of cool because it falls right down here so I wanted to fill this full of water but also yeah build around it okay one thing I've been wanting to do is establish a pattern for our pathway that's a little bit better than just some regular old deep slate and I really like this a lot uh, I'm gonna be calling this cave Folianin which means water cave in Elvish from the Lord of the Rings. I know how nerdy that sounds. That sounds so nerdy, but we're already playing Minecraft, so might as well nerd it up. Anyway, Falyanin is the name of this place, which means water cave, or I think it does. The only question is, what do I do with, like, the stairs? So this is what I've come up with so far, and I think it's entirely derp. It, uh, yeah, because there's no way to put amethyst in the middle here, so I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to handle the stairs. Okay, this is the next part of what I was envisioning, is putting some moss in here to try to make it look lush. The only trouble is the grass is actually the same color as like if we were in a mountain biome, because technically we're in a mountain biome, and actually we're in a mountain biome as well. That's quite different than the grass over there. This grass is like a very sort of gray green and that grass is like a bright green. I don't know you guys, what do you think? What do you think out there in, in Minecraft land? What do you guys think? Should I go for this? I, I think that I should go for this. I mean, I feel like it greens it up quite a bit, even though it's gray green. The gray green grass grows greedily. The gray green grass greedily grows on granite. Okay, well I'm gonna let that stuff down there marinate for a while just to see if I really like it or if I want to do something else and go in a different direction with the decorations in the cave because I actually really like the way it looks just with like the the stone and stuff. What I'm doing right now is I decided it would be a good time to start working on this library so I built up a couple of little columns just sort of where the edge of these uh just where the edge of these um like the loft areas are, like where the stairways come up. And I think that that's going to be a good place to kind of start on this thing. Okay, initially I'm thinking something like this is going to work. I'm sort of liking this so far. <laughs> there we go. So, working on this upper part here, what I've got so far is pretty cool. It's, uh, well you can see we have a deep slate stair and a little wall and then a stair. And then we have these uh, the polished deep slates and we have polished deep slates behind these walls. And I'm trying to build around this dripstone thing because it's kind of cool. Excuse me. Take that and that. Take it. Take it. Should be dead by now. There we go. So it's mine's running his massive raid farm and literally every one second, the entire server pauses. <laughs> it's bizarre. <laughs> it's really bizarre. So I'm on the inside of this thing, like kind of on this side, like trying to work out how that's going to go. I got to say it's a little bit odd. I'm going to try to put the stairs the other way around, see if that helps. Well, that's really derp. Okay, well, so far, so good. I've got the second tower kind of started. It's actually going to go up higher than the first tower. That one's only going to go up that tall. This one's going to go up maybe like there. That's going to make it look kind of asymmetrical, and I like that. Okay, I made a little bit more progress. I turned my shaders on just for fun, just to see what it would look like, liking it. Anyway, uh, so the doorway like this, so I have a, a, a stair there, a stair there, and then two slabs in the middle. 
I like that. And then I'm going to have a, that kind of looks like a dragon egg, which is sort of cool. That's not at all what I was trying to make. But it looks pretty sweet. Um, I need to move it up a block. I was going to just do like a circular window, kind of like the rose kind of window that, that you would find like in a cathedral in Europe. And then this part right here is a little bit vexing because we have the stairwell that goes way over here. But I think what I'm going to end up doing is just covering this with like some stone work. Okay, so I added a little bit of detail right in here. So I just did that little trick where I do like an upside down stair, a wall, and then two stairs, like a right side up and an upside down, and then a wall to kind of get that cool effect going on up there. I think that that adds some detail to this otherwise rather blank wall that is the side of this building right here. And that looks really, uh, well, I wouldn't say it looks really good, but it looks better than being completely blank. Let's put it that way. All right, I took out some of that dripstone. I moved it. I moved up the build a little bit here, and then I filled some back in. And I'm just kind of experimenting with maybe dropping some dripstone down here. I don't know if I necessarily like that, though. Um, I'd kind of rather it come off of these. Um, over here, what I did is I put in these wall blocks, and I think that kind of sets off this column right here. All right, that is looking pretty good. I definitely want to add a few details to it but I like it so far very, very much. I did three layers of the windows on this side, so I completed this side. For the most part, there's a little derpy right in there. I need to figure that out. I switched out the deep slate brick for these polished deep slate blocks, and I think that really sets it off really well. I did, in fact, get rid of the dragon egg shape just to check out and see if I like that better. I kind of do. It kind of sells the window a little bit better. I would say the next thing that we need to do, other than turn our shaders off, <laughs> is we need to put some lighting on this thing a little bit, like a couple of... I'm wondering if I should do lanterns or if I should do some hanging cauldrons. I think hanging cauldrons would look good. All right, that is done. I put in these two cauldrons right here. They light up the place just nicely, I think. Um, I'm going to get rid of those torches over there, I believe. And then back over here, um, we did like the stone in there. I think that looks fairly natural. It's not super natural, but it's not too bad for a quick uh, little terraforming there. And also what I did in here is I had to kind of work on the front of this because like the frontage wasn't even here and I didn't know where exactly it was gonna go. So now that it's in, I put in this little alcove right here where you can put some shulker boxes and I put some of my shulker boxes in there as you can see. And then right here I have, of course, uh, a crafting table and I'm gonna do the same thing over here so it's really handy. But I still have these three guys in here which they're going to get moved eventually but I just don't have a home for them yet. So for now, there they sit. So there's just something about this window up here that's bugging me, and I don't really know what it is. I tried some fence just now. I don't like that. Still trying to figure out what I want to do with it. Well, I kind of like that, actually. Completely, completely done. I'm very, very happy with it. I did a couple of extra little things. I dropped all of these lanterns down by one chain level, and then I did the same there. And then on these stairwells, I dropped them down by several chain levels. Um, then I put in some different, uh, just a few lecterns here and there for fun. Like I put this one here with a book on it, and I put that one there with a book on it. The next thing that I want to do is kind of return down to our area down there and see if we can't uh, do something. Because I, I did something I did something fun. I did something fun in between these last two clips. I went to the Ender Ender, and I made... Is it still in here? No. You'll have to take my word for it, but I made a shulker box full of these picks right here. <laughs> uh, efficiency 5, Unbreaking 3, Silk Touch, Mending Picks. I made an entire shulker box full of those, and then I went and got some clay. All right, so I've taken and put a bunch of clay into and around the pond here. I think that looks really good. Also putting in some of these, uh, whatever that's called. I just bone mealed the ground. The water? Whatever that is. <laughs> uh, and then I grabbed some of these big drip, drip leaves and put those around. That looks pretty cool. And I kind of continued this water over here and over this way. 
like that. I'm liking this so far. So far, so good. And then up here, um, I did a little patch of some moss on the ceiling with also uh, some of the little hanging vine thingy mabobs, the cave vines, whatever, and I did a little patch up there. My intention on that is just to kind of see how low they grow because when I did cave vines in season two, they kind of got a little overgrown, but I know 1.18 put a limit on how far down they can grow. But I don't know if that applies to only naturally generated ones or not. So I need to find that out. You want some of this? You want some? You want some? You don't want none. <laughs> well, guys and gals, that's all we have time for for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode here on the Blockhead server. If you did like it and you're enjoying the world effects, please do leave a like, share, subscribe, all that kind of amazing fun stuff that helps out my channel and gets more people involved in the Blockheads and all that stuff. But anyways, more importantly, I hope you're having an amazing, awesome, beautiful, fantastic day. And God bless.